The baby's head has been born and now we need to wait for the mother to have a contraction so that we can deliver the rest of the baby. Don't forget you must keep communicating with the woman at all times. Noelle, do you feel another contraction coming? Yes? Wonderful. If you feel that you want to push, you can. We need now to deliver the baby's shoulders and therefore all that's necessary is gentle downward traction on the baby's head, very gently, and then ever so gently you can move your hands, supporting the baby's head, and with lateral flexion, you take the baby and you place it on the mother's abdomen and wrap the baby to keep the baby warm and introduce the baby to his or her mummy. And this is communication at all times. Noel, your baby's born. And of course, at this stage, we are anticipating a healthy baby with a good APGA score, which is marking the baby out of 10 for its general condition. We can see the umbilical cord is still attached. And because we haven't given any drugs on this occasion, we're in no rush to cut this cord. So we will allow the baby to recover. And we take the baby a little closer to mum. And of course, an amazing thing to do at this stage, given we've got enough umbilical cord, is to encourage skin to skin. Let me just pop the baby. There we go, baby, with your mum. Skin to skin, keeps the baby warm regulates the temperature and heart rate. And there we are. And of course, we at all times maintain thermal regulation, keep the baby warm. And there is mum and baby having skin to skin. And we have now got a time to wait for the placenta to separate. As we're waiting for signs of placental separation, we've got our preparation and mother and baby are progressing well and we will now wait for signs of placental separation.